Hey guys, I'm going to go through three common errors that we get when installing Docker on Windows 10 Enterprise. Um, so the first error I got was Hyper-V and containers features were not enabled. So to get that enabled real quick, you have to um, click on your Windows icon here on the bottom corner or press the Windows option. And then simply start typing turn Windows. So type turn and you'll see turn windows features on or off so you click on that I gotta enter my admin password because this is my work laptop um, then it's loading you wait and then here you'll see there's a hyper V option that if you have it checked off you simply check the box and check it so that it's selected and then you click OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I already had it. Um, the second error I was getting was failure getting a version tag from the GitHub API response. In that case what you have to do is you have to go to open your directory where you have your files then you have to go to C program files Uh, Docker. Oh, oops, let me go back. Docker Toolbox. You go to Program Files, Docker Toolbox. And here, there should be a boot to Docker um, file. But I already dragged it over to where it has to go. That's why you don't see it. So In there, you grab the boot to Docker file and then you go to C users uh, your ID number dot docker machine cache and then you put it in there so that's where I have it boot to docker that ISO so that has to be there in your cache file um, and the third error I got was my virtualization and data execution must be enabled in the BIOS and I saw a lot of videos online for this and nobody had um, my type of BIOS so I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows 10 Enterprise. First you have to go to start click system update and security um, recovery under advanced startup you click restart now So you just have to wait till you restart. For some reason, um, all the other videos on Windows 10 Enterprise had a different BIOS setup. So I had to figure this one out on my own. Then you click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEI. Uh, UEFI firmware settings restart okay then we select BIOS setup which is F10 so you press F10 and then in this type of BIOS um, we have it in the advanced tab so you press the right button select advanced in advanced you go to system options so you press down or you can use your mouse on this version of Windows so you go to system options and there you'll see right here Virtualization Technology, VTX, and this was checked off. So you check that, and then you hit Save. I already had it saved. You click Yes, then you click Back, you go to Main, and then you click Save Changes and Exit. Save Changes, Yes. 
and then it'll restart. Now when it restarts, Docker should restart automatically with it and it shouldn't give you any more errors, hopefully.